I study medieval manuscripts. Not so much the lavishly illustrated gorgeous volumes that you may have seen in museums, but the much more everyday kinds of books that people would actually have read and used. And in particular, I'm fascinated by what I call the snowflake effect of medieval literature. And what I mean by that is that because every manuscript is handmade, um, the word manuscript itself means written by hand, because it's handmade, it's also unique. And for that reason, every single medieval copy of a text like the Canterbury Tales is different from every other copy, sometimes minutely, but sometimes quite radically. If I go into a bookstore today and I buy a printed copy of the Canterbury Tales, I want and expect it to be identical to every other copy of that edition. Um, medieval manuscripts, by contrast, are unique constellations of many different subjects, agents, and historical vectors. Um, the person or persons who commissioned the manuscript, the authors who composed the works within the manuscript, the scribes who copied out the words, um, the later handlers who preserved and in some cases defaced the manuscript, even the animals who were killed in order to produce the parchment of the pages. Um, now it's impossible fully or conclusively to reconstruct all of those different vectors, but I argue that the real complexity of the Middle Ages only emerges when we engage with as many of those different forces as we can. Manuscripts are mirrors to the past, but mirrors whose panes of glass are coruscating and shifting. They don't offer us uh, a transparent or straightforward mode of access. Reading and engaging with a manuscript is much more like looking through a kaleidoscope.